Hi, in this video I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the Brick Hunter plugin, which makes it very easy to order parts from LEGO when you have a parts list from Bricklink or Replicable. And I'm gonna show you how you can make your order with just a few mouse clicks without having to go through the trouble of finding each and every piece individually in the LEGO shop at home website. So the first thing you need to do is install the Brick Hunter plugin into your browser. I'm using Google Chrome. It's also available uh, for Firefox. And I'm showing it for Google Chrome. Uh, and this is where you get Chrome extensions. You type chrome.google.com slash webstore and it leads you here. Now you can search here for the Brick Hunter plugin. And this is the one you want. I'm just adding the plugin. This means to add it. And I add the extension to my browser. And now it has been added to Chrome. You see up here is a Brick Hunter extension already. And I set it up. Uh, for the country in which I live, it uh, needs to be the one of the Lego store you're using. I'm using Germany and I'm also using German as language in the Lego store. So I'm using that here and save. Next, we're going to import a parts list. Um, we have different ways to do that. We can either upload a file. Uh, it, the, the plugin supports different uh, formats. Uh, like Bricklink XML files where you can download uh, your wanted list from Bricklink into a file or you can also copy such an XML into this text area which I'm gonna do now. Um, as a model I'm taking one of my mocks that I did a while ago so one of the favorite my favorites uh, it's a little uh, Brickheads of a Lego pull along duck. And on Replicable, you can go to the inventory tab here and say you want to export parts and say in Bricklink XML format, it copies it to the clipboard, and uh, then you can just paste it here, give it a name, and say import says import parts list successfully created. Now when you click on that parts list tab, you will see uh, with a red banner, the ducky parts list, you have 40 parts in it. And if you click on it, you see that the red banner is because you haven't loaded the prices yet. Next we say download prices and it will automatically fetch from the LEGO website uh, the prices for all the parts that are available. And you see uh, not all parts are available right now. So this dark blue uh, it's not brick uh, is not available in that color. You can replace it if you want. Uh, for the purpose of this video I'm not going to do that. What's also not available is the uh, Brickhead's eye. So um, everything else seems to be available. Now we want to put that in a shopping cart. So we have the shopping cart tab here. What's very important to do before we do that is that we have to have an open tab on the Lego store. So we are logged on and this is all that's needed here. So one thing we need to do first in countries where Lego has already uh, consolidated bricks in pieces and pick a brick, where we only go through the pick a brick uh, shopping experience, we have to change the settings here to remove bricks and pieces because this is not going to work anymore. So I'm putting Pick a brick first, brick link second, and do not use the third one. I go to the brick and 
pick a brick tab and remember we have an open tab for Lego for the Lego online store and we say add to shopping cart so now it's uh, communicating with a uh, Lego shop at home and uh, is putting the pieces into your shopping cart for pick a brick And here we are. Okay, this is a lot because I did that before and uh, I already had stuff in the shopping cart. So uh, it's also one thing we can do from here and say first empty the shopping cart, which removes everything. So and just add to shopping cart again. What we what the Brick Hunter plugin does not know yet or cannot show you yet is which of the pieces are the new bestseller category and the standard category. So it does not know uh, the service charge that will be put on, on top of your order with a new system. Uh, that one you'll have to see uh, when you check here for the parts. And you see that it's pretty evenly matched here. But now that you have it in the cart for your pick a brick, you can put it in, in your shopping cart for the Lego shop at home order. And it looks like this. So this is in a nutshell how you can easily make orders and uh, from uh, wanted lists from mocks that you find on Reprickable. Um, you will still need to find all the pieces that are not in store for uh, from Lego. Have fun with this. It's much easier than clicking through the whole Lego UI. Thank you for watching and I hope you find this video useful.